In my last Lewis Reese Zamet video, you all blew me up wanting me to do a reaction to LRZ running a 10-4 100 meter sprint. This is going to be my first time watching it, and I appreciate you all sharing the links and all the incredible reactions and feedback that you gave me on that last video. It's definitely been mind-blowing, and uh, I really appreciate all the thoughtful responses and appreciate you all checking out that video. It means the world to me. In the pinned comment below, let me know what other athletes and videos you want me to react to. And if you enjoy this style of video, let me know, crew. It's honestly helpful as we move forward and building this channel out as we go throughout the year so i would love your feedback on this one always be sure to drop a like comment and subscribe and without further ado crew let's check out this video of lrz running a 10-4 baby let's go So what I've been told is that LRZ runs 24 miles per hour where he's been clocked. And you all mentioned that that's two miles an hour faster than one of our fastest receivers here in the NFL, which is Tyreek Hill. And I have to actually look who's the fastest receiver that we have in the NFL. I know Waddle is, I think he's a little bit faster than Tyreek Hill. And there's a, a punt returner on the Eagles. He qualified for the Olympics last year, and that guy is a freaking blitzer. He runs 100-meter 100, uh, 100 sprint in the Olympics. So I'll have to check who's the fastest receiver in the NFL at this moment. But in this video, this is LRZ running the 100-meter dash, and I want to see what time he runs. I know you've mentioned that he runs a 10-4, and I want to see how accurate it is. And there's been back and forth in the comment section, which I really appreciate, of like how accurate is this video or how authentic it is. Is it manipulated to make him look faster than it? than he really is we're about to check it out in this one crew i appreciate y'all being here and let's see what it's all about man this is on his channel it says lewis reese zamet versus the 100 meter launching new sports strength so let's see what it's all about on your marks set good color on the film they did they did a good job i like that 100 meter challenge. Hi guys, I'm Lewis Reese Amit, and as you can see in the title, I'm doing my first ever 100 meter sprint. I get this question all the time, you know, how fast do you, how fast can you run the 100 meters? So it's time to put it to the test. Let's put it to the test, baby. Let's see what it's all about. Today is powered by Savitar, an exciting new sports drink that ensures I get complete nutritional care throughout every stage of my workout. Those are some nice, clean, a nice, uh, Spikes that he the has on. workout drink is specially formulated to deliver the energy I require before exercise. Johnny Williams, he's the center for the well for the Wells. 10-5 prediction. That's hauling still. The intra workout I, drink is designed to supply me with nourishment. I mean, NFL, I mean, not even NFL athletes, athletes, but like Olympic level athletes, they're running sub tens. So for uh, a rugby athlete or just like an NFL player to run tens, that's freaking hauling. I know even college, that's what those are. You're freaking doing extremely well from a D1 level. So it'd be cool to see him do this. Let's see what it's all about. They have the, the laser timing. The color correction on this video is really, really good. They did a good job. I'm over here looking at the editing style. <laughs> Let's see what it's about. It's good form. Yeah, he's motoring right there. He's picking him up and putting him down right there. <laughs> Is it clock by laser or the hand timing? Oh, what do I got? Laser would be more accurate than hand. No. 10 4 4? No. I'll take that. Damn, that's that good. Right, you still should be in the Olympics. <laughs> I'll take it. Oh. I mean, he wouldn't make the Olympics with a 10-4. Not, not even close to the Olympic level. He's getting it for damn sure. Olympic levels are sub-10s. Sub You're running like 9-9s, nine 10 flats, 9-7s. What, what's the world record? 9-7 with um, Usain Bolt and stuff like that? That would mean, that's impressive that he still ran a 10-4. It looked like... A hand timer, but he also had the laser timer up there as well. So it's interesting to see, um, to see that. I think I th I think it's authentic. I mean, just from seeing that video, to me, that looks super authentic. I want to know your thoughts, crew. Do you think that's real, or do you think he's? Do you think the video was sort of altered to make him look faster than he really is to promote that sports energy drink that he has right there? I honestly think it's authentic because looking at him on the field as a wing, 
and playing the rugby the rugby rugby position just seeing the way he was able to separate from the other athletes on the field i feel like that resembles exactly what the 100 meter sprint looks like because when he was taking off he was making everybody else look like they were running in slow motion and to have that type of separation and speed and you could tell the actual difference that was the big thing that stood out to me when i was watching his initial highlights and he, when he was actually on the field and so it's I think it's 100% accurate, to be honest with you, crew. I'm interested to hear your thoughts on that one. I want to know what you think, crew. Just a quick reaction vid of him running the 100-meter the dash. A 10-4-4. That's freaking hauling. I was laughing because uh, <laughs> his buddy was saying, you know, you need to qualify for the Olympics. And I mean, that's fast, but it's definitely not Olympic-level speed um, because we have D1 track athletes and the NCAA is running, running 10 ones, 10 flats and things like that. Like it's an incredibly fast time, but I mean, he could compete at the college level uh, here in the US with that speed and definitely within his sport, like good Lord, anybody who's still running that um, on the field is incredibly fast. And the thing about like speed, which is funny, um, there, there's a thing called football speed. So when you have your, your pads on, like somebody can run the 40, the 40 yard uh, dash or 40 yard sprint and they, they may be fast or like moderate speed, but when you put your pads on, your helmet on, there's something known as football speed where the athlete is incredibly faster, whether it's more agile, more mobile on the field than what you see on like a practice field or doing any of those standardized tests and running like speed drills and things like that. So it's, I imagine it's the same thing in rugby because you have that, you have the endorphins, you have that adrenaline pumping through you and all of those factors that play into you sort of like heightening your awareness and you know leveling up your your skills on the field and plus you have players running at you left and right and so there's these instinctual things that come out when you're playing the game and those things are not able you're not able to teach that it just happens in the moment and that's why you see those spectacular plays happening off the or on the field um and when you see some like the off the field stuff it doesn't necessarily convert to the game so somebody you know i've met people that are incredibly fast skillful strong powerful outside of the game but when you put them on the field it's like what the hell happened they fall flat they fall flat on their face and when you have somebody who may not be as exceptional in the weight room or during training but then they just once they get on the field it's like a, a switch flips i've seen that happen it's like what the hell like the guy looks like he doesn't even train in the gym doesn't work out doesn't do anything once like the light he's under the lights his performance like far exceeds anything imaginable whether it's just the the way he can think on the field like how fast the re, how he reacts understanding the game at a deeper level and i see that more times than often and where like you know the speed or the standardized skills that were tested for don't necessarily translate over to the game itself and it's just cool to see what like the nfl combine and everything coming up i'm really interested to see how lrz does and i really want to see his 40 time i'm imagining he's going to run a 4-3 4-4 somewhere around there and we're going to see it's because when you run a 40 it's all about your start time like how fast you get out the blocks and you know motor down the field like he can definitely accelerate and hit top speed but like when you're doing like that 40 drill it's about how fast you can start like popping out of the out of your stance and getting it's, it's a science to it so they're going to drill the hell out of that and it's just going to continue to raise his stock and i'm really interested interested to see how he does on that one crew let me know your thoughts in the the comments below and in, in the pin comments let me know what other athletes you would like me to react to and what other videos you would like me to react to as well crew i appreciate all the love and support and we're going to continue moving forward and I love you crew. Thank you so much for all of your positive feedback and for checking out these videos. Be sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe. And always remember to stay laser focused on your dreams and your vision. And remember that you're in control. Catch you on the next video crew, all right? Peace.